welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Louise and this is finally the video <laughs> that um, I've been promising for ages I've had part of it recorded um, but sometimes I just get this block I don't know what it is so um, for Christmas my son bought me a pineapple Cora slicer don't know what you call it anyway um, somebody did mention that they would like me to show how it works what it's like all that sort of stuff so the day this this was gonna happen <laughs> i really was not in the mood was not feeling great so scott decided to record it set him up and he went off of it so i think he did a really good job i'm going to insert the clip and then i will come back because i have some inf interesting information that i found out about pineapple so i thought i'd impart it because why not um so i hope you enjoy hello for those who don't know me i'm scott i'm the friend uh, Louise got this for Christmas and because she has fibro we're gonna see if it's actually easier for her to use instead of the typical way of, of putting a little bit of praying and, and stress on her hands and and just makes it awkward for her to use so I'm gonna try it to see how it works if it's easier for me then we can try to get it manageable for her but it's one of them things where we don't know it until we try it it's uh, same tech pineapple core slicer don't know if it's coming in foggy blurred don't know but it's one of them little voila see how it works so I'm gonna chop the head off and then we're gonna go from there and see how it peels and we will go from there ah look at that sharp knife always essential Louise never has sharp knives in her house. Every time I come here, I have to sharpen knives. From a butter knife to a spoon. It, regardless, nothing is sharp in this house. And it also comes with one of the little gadgets. That, myself, it's kind of sharp, but it's plastic, so you might have to put a little bit of pressure on there. So I'm yeah, a little wary about that, but we will try to give it a go and see how it goes. This thing does come attached. Push the little buttons for easy wash. Look at that. You can wash it. And then you just pop it back into place. We're ready to go. They're kind of sharp. I mean, we'll see how it goes. So all you're supposed to do is just put it in here and screw it. All right. Oh, that's kind of simple. Look at that. Just a, look at that. Twisting of just two little fingers. There's not a lot of pressure on there whatsoever. So if you are struggling with fibro, whatever ailments of your hands, I mean, this is it is really easy to use. I mean, just a little. Look at that. Twist of two fingers. It's yeah, definitely. Uh, manageable no pressure on it whatsoever yeah that was uh it was definitely easier than what i thought it would be it actually cost more pressure to cut the head off of it than true it yeah oh i think i'm at the bottom so we just pull it up now you gotta give it a little bit of a little little wiggle Give it a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. A little bit of a twist, a little bit of a wiggle. And voila, now, there is some nice juices in there, if you can see that. And the core, I'd munch on that. And then this, that's not bad. And then I do believe you just, oh. You take the, the top off, like, take the, handle off i think oh and then slide it all the way off i feel like that's okay possible. i would give it a go all right. oh <laughs> look at that but look at that oh oh that's what the other thing for and then you can put that don't actually do it but no but you imagine. can do that and then whoop, and you would have a little section but that's that's all oh, like that that's that is pretty good. <laughs> so all in all, 
I would definitely say if you're having problems with your hands, arthritis, fibro, really easy to use. Was not just a little bit of pressure, none whatsoever really, just a little bit, just the actual turn. And it works. Yes, I would definitely uh, recommend that and I would buy it for somebody else. I feel like this was very much like a paid promotion. Do you want to do a disclaimer to let them know we are not getting paid for this? Yes, we are definitely <laughs> not getting paid from but if somebody wants same to. tech. <laughs> definitely not getting paid for it. But I do recommend the product. I mean, it, it, it is easy to use. Uh, Self-explanatory. Not hard. And But yeah, I would definitely get it for somebody. I might even get one for myself. If I eat that much pineapple. <laughs> Only my pineapple normally comes in a drink <laughs> or a pizza. Cold? Was the drink cold? Pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I felt like he was auditioning. Maybe he wants to be an advert. Who knows? Um, I think he did a good job though. He explained everything very well. He was not coached on any of it. Um, yeah, I think he did an awesome job. How easy is that thing to use? Like, literally does everything. Um, so. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed that part. The piece of information that I, was, I was going to tell you about. So, the reason that um, my son bought that for me originally was because um, tin pineapple is really, really expensive. Uh, fresh pineapple is way cheaper. And, you know, obviously having uh, fibro, I find it very hard to do certain things. That's one of those jobs that just, it won't, I won't be able to do it. Um, you know, it's hard enough for people that don't have fibro. Just cutting in a, a pineapple up is hard enough anyway. But financially, um, it's better to buy the fresh pineapple. Um, problem is, I am one of those people, and I think that it's quite a large part of the population actually has it, where I get a reaction to it, uh, fresh pineapple. You know, uh, my, my lips start to uh, sting and my tongue stings and things start to swell and all that sort of stuff. So I thought, well, let's find out exactly what it is. Now, somebody did tell me it was an enzyme. So, so it's actually called bromelain. Um, that's what the enzyme is. Um, so basically, in the, the heating of canning the pineapple, that kills that enzyme. It, that's the reason why when you have tin pineapple, you might not get that stinging. I don't. I can eat tin pineapple absolutely fine. Um, so if you want to get rid of that with the fresh pineapple, it's a heating process, so you know you can cook it, fry it, um, bake it, however you want to. It's the heating part that actually kills the enzyme, so you won't get the sting in. I thought that was really, really interesting information because I love pineapple, but a lot of the time that's enough to stop you from eating it. I mean, I can have one chunk and then it starts like the stinging and stuff and it, it, it's just uncomfortable. It's not an enjoyable thing to eat at that point. But I'm just sitting now, my mind's racing. Like, you know, I can just heat in pineapple with some cold ice cream. Oh, that'd be so nice. Um, yeah, just thought it was like one of those useless pieces of information. Maybe it will come up in some random pub quiz or, some, I don't even know where pub quiz got. I've never done a pub quiz in my life. I don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, just one of those useless pieces of information that's not going to benefit your life in any way. But now you know. Like, if that's what you get, that's why you get it. <laughs> and that's how you can get rid of it. So there you go. I thought it was interesting. So why not impart that little piece of useless information that I'm not going to remember next time? Because you can guarantee any time you ask me now, I won't know what that thing's called. Because I did have to Google it. And I did have to do the... How to pronounce it as well, so there well educate ed my moments are educating myself there you go um useless piece of information i didn't know yesterday so anyway i'm going on as usual you know camera comes on i stop talking rubbish so i am going to send you good vibes as i always do i hope you're catching sun i'm sending good vibes as i always do i hope you're catching some and i will see you in the next one bye